guys let's talk about a visa people have been using to move abroad in 2024 actually this visa was originated in 2022 this visa allows non-eu citizens to come to portugal and work without any job offer so if you are a non-eu citizen you belong to this category and you can stay in portugal for 120 days so when you come to portugal you are allowed to stay for 120 days to search for a job now what happens after your 120 days you couldn't still find any job well after 120 days you can have additional 60 days altogether that makes it like almost six months for you to get a job in portugal and once you're able to get the job you'll be able to transit into a residential visa and that's very good there are so many benefits towards it but note if you are not able to get a job within that six months you will need to go back to your country and you won't be allowed to apply for this visa for the next one year so who can apply for this visa well anybody can apply yes so long you have a skill you have a work that you are doing and you know you want to come to portugal genuinely to come and search for a job and also to contribute to the economy yes you can apply for this visa you don't need to be a graduate you just need to apply so long you have something that you are doing that you know you are coming to portugal to work for so what are the requirements number one is a valid travel document this could be your international passport and remember it must be valid for three months even after your visa that's been given to you has expired so you need to have it valid for a long period of time number two is a passport photograph that must be up to the standard of the portuguese consulate standard so you don't need to worry you get all your documents and you'll be able to you take it to them and they will tell you what they need and what you don't need number three is a proof of your residential permit let's say now you are a nigerian and you are living in the uk or you're living in another country you need to show a proof that you are living in that country legally so you need that that's for those that are not living in their best country number four is a valid application form remember that once you have filled this form make sure you sign it because if you do not sign it there is a great possibility that your application might be rejected so make sure you sign it and you can get this document on the portuguese website next is a valid copy of your criminal history certificate so you need to get like a police certificate or a police report or a criminal record report and you need that for your visa application as well you also need a consent form that consent form is the one that says that you are permitting the portuguese to do a background check on you you can get this consent form on the portuguese official website next is a copy of your flight itinerary this shows the date that you are leaving your country to portugal and the date that you are returning back to portugal yes they want you to come and search for a job but they also want the fact that if you do not get it you're going back so they want to see that you have booked a flight back to your country you also need health insurance certificates you can get this from your insurance provider in your country but mind you must have a policy that covers 30,000 euros so make sure that when you are getting your insurance policy it covers that amount you also need proof of fund up to 2,280 euros in your bank account this is to cover your living expenses for three good months remember if you do not have such amount of money but you have a friend living in portugal you have a family member living in portugal they can write a letter to cover you but if you know you don't fall among that category you need to ensure you have that phone in your account and it needs to be there for at least more than a month so that they can see that yes you have the money to take, to take care of yourself in portugal you need to write a letter that shows the reason why you are applying for a job in portugal try to create an emotional letter or a motivated letter that shows okay ah, this is the reason i want a job in portugal this that that so you know how to construct such letter that would be good if you want me to do a video of something that shows like that type of letter i will do it for you later on remember you also need to submit your curriculum vitae that's your cv or your resume now when you are doing this 
um, Portugal registration or Portugal application, there's a particular survey form you need to fill first. That's the very first step. The link is going to be in the description. During that period, they will ask you some certain questions of your of your work history. The resume must at least match with what you have filled initially. So make sure that they correlate so that there won't be any suspicion of any fraudulent actions. And lastly, you will need a documented proof of accommodation where you will stay or who you are staying with. If you have someone that is there, then you need to prove that you're staying there. But if you book the accommodation, that's also fine. You can show proof that you have booked the accommodation of where you will stay. Now, how can you apply for this visa? First, you need to indicate your interest with the IEFP. They're like the body that governs all this. I'm going to put the link in the description of how you can go about indicating your interest. And I'm going to do a separate video for this purpose. So you indicate your interest telling them your work experience and all that. It's an online application form that you will fill. If your declaration of interest is successful it then means that you can go to the next stage but remember that doesn't mean you have gotten the portugal job seeker visa yet it's just telling you go to the next stage of the application after this you need to start your application with the portuguese consulate website of your country make sure you have all the documents it's very important because if you don't have everything prepared you might be blocking the slots for other people if you get rejected because there's a limited amount they take for each country so make sure you are prepared you fill out all the documents fill the type of visa you want to apply for and then you submit but that is not the end of the stage once you have submitted you will need to book an appointment with the portuguese consulate in your own country now once you have booked this appointment you need to take all your documents with you that you will submit as well once you've submitted they've clarified all your documents you will then be invited for an interview during the interview stage remember you need to still bring all your supporting documents if you need to photocopy them try to ensure that you photocopy them if you want me to go more detailed into this I will do that, but I'm just giving you the overview on how to go about this process. Now, once you've attended the visa interview, you've submitted your document, they've looked at it. If you are successful, then they will give you your Portuguese visa and you can move to Portugal, apply for jobs and then start living. Remember, I always suggest to people always move to that country, settle first before you bring your family. If you want me to do a video on possible jobs that you can get quickly on this visa tell me and i will do the video make sure that you put it in the comment section so that i can know that yes this is what you want me to do if you are among the ones watching this video and you have better knowledge of this portugal visa put it in the comment section so people will learn from it and people will follow your footstep especially if you have used this process to get to portugal Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like to subscribe to our channel so that we can do videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. See you next time and bye for now.